I'm Grace Neutral, I'm 26 years old and I'm a hand poke tattoo artist. I was like kind of an alternative weirdo in school and I was really interested in tribal culture and like my mum's an artist and she had all of that in her art shop. I just was exposed to this whole other world of beauty out there that I didn't think would ever exist. I got my tongue done first. One guy was holding my tongue out and then the other guy just got a scalpel blade and cut my tongue in half. <laughs> and then I got my ears done got them pointed like a pixie. Then I got my belly button removed. As a romantic gesture a very long time ago, I set it in resin in a heart shape and gave it to someone who I thought was special. Um. <laughs> I went on this journey, I guess. I had to prove to myself on so many levels that I could deal with this, because if I can deal with this, I can deal with anything, you know? I was really lucky to be asked to walk for the Ashley Williams show in London Fashion Week. It's not something I have ever done anything like that before. I'm a tattoo artist first and foremost, like that's my bread and butter. Eye wall tattooing is done not like any regular tattoo, it's done by an injection and they just inject the ink under the layer over the white of the eye and the ink just sits in between that layer and that's it. This is a scrapbook that I made. Um, I guess the most interesting page would be this one. I woke up the next day and I opened my eyes for the first time to see them completely purple. It's pretty exciting. Where is it? Here it is. This is the skin from my face that we peeled off my cheek, which I then ate afterwards <laughs> because, well, why not, eh? Uh, when in Rome. I guess I do kind of a niche style um, in the way that I tattoo it because I don't use a machine, I just tattoo with a tattoo needle and a stick. I'm working on a friend, Miranda, at the moment, who's letting me do her full torso and I've already completed a sleeve on her. I love tattooing my friends. It's like one of the most rewarding things I think I have to do. I have a set up at home always so I can tattoo in a clean environment. I have everything I need to create like a little mini studio. Do you feel like any other extreme modifications will catch on, like tattooing has, for example? Quite hard to say, really. Each time I get another modification, it makes me feel a bit more like myself. Mm -hmm. I guess it just depends on who starts doing it more, because the more educated people become on it, and the more people start practicing it. It's so refreshing to meet like people who are a little bit younger than me, who I kind of see like a bit of myself in you, you know, like I was a lot similar to you when I was young, like starting my journey and things like that. For years I was kind of searching for this comfortable place in myself, you know, where I can just sit back and kick it and feel, just feel good about where I am, who I am, what I am. Just imagine if everyone was themselves, how different everyone would be and how refreshing it would be to walk out the door every day and the people that you would meet and you wouldn't, no one would be scared. The only thing that's important is when I see myself, I'm happy and I'm, I can go to bed at night thinking like, I truly am myself and when you're 100% your, yourself then I think you're at your most beautiful, you know, so that's what I could really ask for. What if we were all blind? Beauty would be who you are as a person and how you act instead of looking at somebody else.